Hey cutie patooties, it is time for some reading. We are going to learn uh, two new tricky words today. We're also going to review all of our old tricky words and then we're going to read a story in um, our Zach and Ann reader and answer some questions about that. And that is our only skills learning for today. So let's start with our objectives. Everybody say, I can blend sounds into words. Say, I can read tricky words. All right, let's get warmed up with all the tricky words we've known so far, we've learned so far. Here we go. We've got once, which, so, what, I, no, where, to, why, word, when, the, of, all, one, was from uh I hope you said those with me that's how we get to know them better and better right we practice and we say it with Mrs. Murray all right cuties so we have two new tricky words today Mrs. Murray's going to share her screen so that I can show you what they are so let me get my document camera out. Here we go. Here is our first word. And let's read it as if it were to follow all the rules. Ready? Sa-id. sa That is not what that says, my friends. As you can see, the A and the I are the tricky parts in this word. This is the word said said, like I said to please stop, said, said, so s, e, totally not what these letters usually say, right, d, said, and our next tricky word is says, oh, I already gave it to you. So the tricky part is this middle part also. S-e-z, says. Like she says, she is tired. Says, says. So the A and the Y are tricky. All right, so we've got says today and said. Those are our two new tricky words. Okay, now that we've learned our two new tricky words, let's see if we can spell some of our other tricky words that we have been learning. So I'm going to get out my workbook. This is your unit nine with the dog on it. And then you're going to turn to page 13.1, or if you look on the bottom, it's 79, seven, nine. 79, or if you look on the top, it's 13.1. So the very first thing we always do is write our name, capital first, right? And we are going to start with our first tricky word. Our first tricky word is when. So to spell when, we start with our W, H, E, N, when. Let's spell it again. W, H, E, N, when. Our second word is going to be word. Here we go. W O 
R D word. Now, the, we did not say this objective at the beginning of our lesson, but you are definitely working on forming your letters correctly, right? That's important so that people can read your writing. Let's do it again. Word, W, O, R, D, word. All right, number three, Y. W H Y W H Y Number four, we're going to write the word two. This is a short one. T O T O two two not like the number two but like you're going to school number five where W H E R E where W H E R E where All right, number 6. It's our new word from today. Said. Ready? S a I D said S A I D said And our last one, also our other new word from today, says, ready? S A Y S. One more time. S A Y S says. All right, friends, I will take a picture of you of this for you. That way, if Mrs. Murray was going too fast, you can take a look on Schoology. And now when you finish your tricky word um, writing, you can go ahead and close your workbook and put it away. And then you're going to get out your reader. All right, so I've got my cover page. I'm turning to my title page. Now I'm at the table of contents. Yesterday we read the tent. Today we are going to read a gift from mom. Look at that, we're almost done with our reader. So we're following our dots and they're telling us to go to page 50. So this story is about a gift that Zach and Anne get from their mom. So you're gonna pay special attention to the story so that you can tell me what Zach and Anne think the gift might be before they open it. So since we can see it's kind of closer to the end of the story or of the book, we're going to, we can flip more than one page. We can flip a few pages at a time, okay? Now that I'm getting a little bit closer, 41, now I can flip one at a time to get closer to 50. And here we are. Gift from mom. So let's listen and see what they're thinking it is, okay? 
So even though we're not together and you're watching this on a video, you are still using your tracking finger so that you can track where Mrs. Murray is reading. Ready? Here we go. A gift from mom. Once mom got the kids a gift. The gift was in a big black box. Stop. Sorry about that, friends. Mrs. Freeman Todd came in to ask me a question, so I had to pause the video real quick. So let's start from the beginning. Sorry about that. Here we go. A gift from mom. Once mom got the kids a gift. The gift was in a big black box. Mom set the box on the rug. Is it a truck, Zach said. So Zach is thinking it's a truck. No, Mom said, it's not a truck. I bet it's a hat, Anne said. So Anne's thinking it's a hat. No, Mom said. It's not a hat. Then the box said, ruff, ruff. Zach slid the lid off the box. A dog sat up. It's a dog, said Anne. Yes, said Zach. Mom's the best. Oh my, she got them a little dog. So Zach thought it was a truck, Anne thought it was a hat, but it ended up being a dog for them to have. All right, my friends, so I am gonna go back here real quick and I want to point out a few things in our story today. So in a lot of spots, you see these little marks right here. These are called quotation marks. Everybody say quotation marks. Quotation marks, are telling you that the words between them are being said by this person. So when it says quotation marks and it says, is it a truck, Zach said, that means Zach is saying those exact words. And it's a question he's asking, is it a truck? So there's a question mark at the end of the sentence instead of a period because it's asking a question. So you can see there are little talking marks or quotation marks throughout the story because either mom is talking or Anne is talking or Zach is talking. And then you're also seeing some exclamation marks because those are, after what they're being said, they're saying them in an excited way. So like the dog, right, is barking. So he's saying, ruff, ruff, because he's excited to get out of the box. So that's an exclamation mark there. The kids are excited because it's a dog. So they're not just saying, it's a dog. They're saying, it's a dog in an excited way. So that is why there is an exclamation mark there. And here when Zach is saying, yes. And then because they're so excited and they think their mom is the best, right here where it says, mom's the best. There's an exclamation mark because they're saying it in a super excited way with lots of feeling. So I wanted to show you those little marks because there's a lot of them in the story. And the more uh, books you read, the more you'll be seeing all these different marks in your books, okay? So let's answer some questions about this story. So the first question is, what does Zach think mom's gift might be? Well, we already said he thought it was a truck. And it, then it asks, what does Anne think it might be? Anne thinks it's a hat. What is mom's gift for Zach and Anne? She got them a dog. Where do you think mom got the dog? Hmm, that's a good one. They don't tell us an answer. So I'm betting you guys have some ideas of where 
she might have gotten that dog. Before Zach and Ann opened the box, were there any clues that the gift might be a dog? Remember right before they opened it, it said, the box said, ruff, ruff. So to me, that would be a good clue that in the box is a dog because that's the sound that dogs make. All right, cutie patooties. So now that we have learned our two tricky words, we practiced writing our tricky words and we read a gift from mom, I would love for you to practice reading some more in your readers, okay? I know I say this almost every day, but the more you practice reading in that reader, the better you will get. Even if you're reading the same story over and over and over and over again, it's going to help you become a better reader. So even though we don't have an actual reading story to do in our notebook or in our workbook today, I still want you to read whatever story you would like in your Zach and Ann reader, okay? And I will see you guys later. All right, bye.